We know lab tests are really important and every brand is always talking about their quality, but you have to look at them to really know what's actually in your CBD products. I'm gonna show you how to go through a lab test and to read them on a very basic level just to ensure that you know what's in your product and more importantly, what's not in your product. I'm John, I'm the founder of Rescue One CBD, and today we're gonna to go over reading lab tests step by step. We have a really cool uh, blog post on this. If you go to our website, you can uh, click on learn more and you can see in depth a little bit about how to read a lab test and why we use them the way we do. But uh, just to give you a little bit of insight as to what we do for lab testing, the product we start with is grown from hemp uh, in Colorado and it starts off genetically as a very low THC strain. So that's the most important thing. Once it's grown and harvested, we have to remediate the THC out of it because there's always a really small percentage of THC in hemp. It's of the cannabis genus, and uh, there is always going to be some small amount of THC in there. Our job is to take it out. So we start the lab testing there, and we remove the THC and test it during production to make sure that we have 0.000%. Then we test it once more as a batch once it's done. Uh, then we bottle it, and then we test it a third time. Once it's in the individual bottle, we spot check one of those bottles and make sure that it still has 0.000% THC. We can't sell a product unless it has that 0.000 mark of THC. So how do you see that in the lab test? Well, go to our website, and you can look at the lab tests there. If you have one of our products, just scan the QR code on the back. It's gonna pull up that lab test, and at the very top, you're gonna to see the full panel of cannabinoids, including CBD and THC. There are lots of cannabinoids, and we have another video on cannabinoids if you have a question on what those are. But basically, you're gonna look for the level of detection and the level of quantification of those cannabinoids. Level of detection is really important because it sets the sensitivity of the machine that's detecting THC in that product. So it's super easy for somebody to say non-detectable levels of THC when their sensitivity is not set very low. That's like a very easy goal to hit. We set our sensitivity as low as we can physically quantify and that's at 0, 0.000. The math that comes out to that that my lab technicians explained to me was zero parts per billion. So for the size of CBD bottle that we have, Having 0.000% THC means zero parts per billion of THC in that 30 milliliter or one ounce bottle of CBD. So at that really, really sensitive range that we're testing for, we have none that we can see. Going through each one of those will show you what your level of detection is and that basically what the sensitivity is and how much is actually present. So a lot of times people will read them and they'll get confused seeing LOD is 0 0.0001 and they'll think that that's the amount of THC that's in there. That's not correct. The level of detection is the sensitivity on the machine. Where it says result is what the machine has produced if there are any results. And if it says non-detectable, that means there is none at that level of uh, detection. So if somebody sets their level of detection is 0.0, .0 that means there could be 0.01% THC in there, and that could lead to a positive drug test. So we always set it to as low as we possibly can so that you all can know for sure that we have 0.000% THC in there. If you scroll through that lab test, you'll see a bunch of other stuff in there too, like the amount of pesticides that are in there, heavy metals, solvents, and if there are any contaminants like filth, like if there's dirt or, you know, contaminants in there from packaging and, and shipping and um, stuff that's not supposed to be in there, as well as microbials. So we test to make sure that none of those are in there and that not only are you just getting a good product that, that also has no THC in it, but that you are uh, getting a clean product and that we've done our due diligence in raising a healthy crop and producing a product that is free from any kind of byproducts and waste products that a lot of farming products have in them like pesticides and heavy metals. Just scroll through those, check them out, reach out to us if you have any questions at all. I love talking about this stuff and you can always message us on Instagram. 
You can email us, support at rescue1, the number one, cbd.com, or you can comment right here on our YouTube or podcast, and we will get back to you there as well. The easiest way to get a hold of us is through Instagram or email. We're really responsive to there. That's all for this one. We're going to update you on some exciting stuff and more upcoming things on the next one. Take care of each other and be safe out there.